didn't decide to become a seamstress. I, you know, you know, I had my two daughters, first two daughters. I just started uh, experimenting, um, you know, making little things for them. As I continued, you know, it just became more for proficient at what I was doing. And I wasn't advertising or anything. I, they, they, I, they had something different just about every week. They needed some clothes, and that's a lot. That's expensive to buy um, clothes for five little girls. So I was able to uh, supplement the cost. Other people began to notice them, and just really surprised that that I made it. They said that it looked like it came from the store, you know. Sometimes, you know, people would bring things to me that they had messed up and ask me could I correct it for them. And I, I couldn't believe it, you know, because some of the stuff that they brought to me, I'm like, golly, huh? <laughs> How did they do that to that? You know what I mean? I don't believe this. And, you know, I would repair and fix it. So you have to uh, give it your whole mind or, or you make errors. And it needs your undivided attention to do a uh, professional looking, uh, complete, you know, complete it and make it look professional looking. Nobody never told me that I, could, that I had something special, that I just naturally knew how to work with needle. I love to sew it. Uh, it's uh, uh, very therapeutic. It takes you away. <laughs>